myself i mean so now when i'm there they are there that is that is just the truth i can never think the same way as a person who's poor but when i was poor i was thinking in the same manner as everyone else i was just like that that is why even today on social media poor people are the ones who are always attacking the rich all the time you you hardly see incidents whereby a rich person is attacking another rich person instead they are friends it's because they have six valves opened so hustle until all your valves are opened and it's just said that certain forex traders they have one valve opened and a half it's not even two valves you can just see that this one one valve is open that's just normal and then there is a half as well the second valve is not valve is not opened as yet you you can see so there, there are steps how i think now is totally different from how i used to think in 2017 how i used to think in 2017 is totally different compared to how i used to think in 2019 so every time every process you learn you improve you improve so i would like to confirm that now i have six valves opened but most of the people still are on one we all started on one so slowly slowly you will adjust slowly you will adjust you slowly you will adjust you, we, we, we can't really uh, blame them you know now uh where was i kana uh where was i was I, where was i what was i talking about because i think i talked too much i even forget uh oh yeah so i've i've, I've in that relationship uh things were no longer the same i no longer had time for her she would complain all the time keep in mind before then i used to be the one nagging her showing her love checking up on her and all that when i had money everything changed i didn't care anymore i i honestly didn't care anymore and when she would want to have sex i would say no when i had money i would say no i don't want to have sex but when i was poor i wanted to have sex every day you see poverty and sex poverty and sex same whatsapp group because i mean when you are poor just when you're poor just tell me what is it that can make you feel good about yourself when you're poor besides family is to get laid you must have sex that's the only thing which is going to make you feel better so at that time i had money to make me feel better i didn't need sex but when i was poor i constantly i was running after her please give me some i'm hungry i want to eat because that was the only thing that i was good at so i would say my performance my sexual performance when i was poor and when i had money it has dropped with more than 80 <laughs> percent how i used to have sex back in the days is no longer the same as as how i'm having sex now it's no longer the same which 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 makes sense for the first time in my life now i get to understand why people with money uh, most people with money their women they're always cheating with broke guys it's because broke guys only know one thing only one thing broke guys only know one thing they excel in one thing that is their their expertise money dolol mara ye gore motho tla uja ka re wa feta e o tla uja mushima no tloka chalta o tla uja o tla uja ausi o tla jiwa e e e e e e but rena rena with 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 a purpose in life we make love one round then i sleep i told i tell you that um babe let's make love we make love we make love we make love we make love and i can decide to come after a minute there's nothing you can do are you gonna take me to court that i came in one minute after all i'm mr one minute strategy i can decide to last for 15 minutes 30 minutes i can decide i'm in control it's about me before you then after making love we sleep and I tell you, I, I'm going to tell you, baby girl, I'm not a sex robot. I'm not a sex robot. 
soft sex robot we are going to hit one round then in the morning i've got an important shareholders meeting if i remain up on all night i won't concentrate one round i sleep in the morning i go and make money broke nigger eight rounds i i used to be like that so that's what happened in the relationship she started running after me and i was not there anymore right and i started seeing beautiful women i started seeing beautiful women you see you see when, when you have money when you have money né, you start seeing beautiful things more and i wonder sometimes i sit down uh, if there are any of my exes watching you may forgive me né, in advance sometimes i sit down and i think i'm like what did i see in this person have you ever asked yourself asked yourself that question like what did i see in this ex of mine because when i take my memory back there when i take my memory back there i used to think that this person is the most beautiful person i've ever seen but when i had money i've noticed that eh and like i was dating no no this person is fucking ugly but because of the conditions that i was i was living in at that time i was unable to see to see such so if you want to see beauty have money you will see everything so i was starting to see beautiful women better than her in everything uh personality uh, intelligence looks everything better than her 100 percent and i i was asking myself that if 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 i was not able to see all these things at 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 that time when i was still in love with this person at that time when i didn't have money poverty poverty is the main enemy in life when when you are poor you can't see clearly have money you will see you will see what what you deserve that's why i'm telling you ladies your boyfriend let the nigger get the money you will see his true colors <laughs> you will see his you will hey mara it's fine now uh i i i told her that you know what baby girl um honestly speaking i i can't do this anymore now before i i, I did that to her so <clears throat> That was around March 2017. Uh, myself and Kuto uh, managed to to get a small house. Uh, if you have been following me for the longest time, you'd you'd remember it. A small house in in Soshanguve, you know. We got a small house in Soshanguve. It was a three bedroom house. It was just me and Kuto only. B12 B12 still had one valve. Vincent still had one valve. One valve. All of them. They, they, they were saying forex is a scam my my own friends now the most important person throughout my story is the guy who introduced me to forex now even the same guy who introduced me to forex i've tried more than once more than twice more than five times to convince him that dude come back to the industry that you have introduced me in i'm making money and he didn't want anything to do with it he said it's a scam it's a scam he didn't want anything to do with it the same person who introduced me to forex the first time didn't want anything now i've learned that people only believe in winners therefore it only it makes sense when you are hustling right now you are hustling alone when you're hustling it, to show that your hustle is real you see this thing of whatsapp gifting everybody's doing it that's not hustling the true spirit of hustling only you need to understand not even one person has to understand why you're doing what you're doing it need to be it needs to be exclusively available to you exclusively understood by you only not the society the society doesn't need to approve you you must you understand that that's why it's, it's very important to believe in your own dreams i see so many people now i can easily destroy so many people's dreams i i can hear with the way they don't have confidence 
People come to me and they're like, Coach, we see your story, we are inspired, but we are losing now. Do we think do you think we should give up? If I say yes, give up, that person will give up. But the truth is, when it comes to hustling, you, you, you don't need me to tell you that you must continue. Because even myself, I can also block your own success. I can tell you that, hey, chief, stop selling herbal life. And you'd find that herbal life was your only way to success. I can block your own dreams. That is why when it comes to hustling, when it comes to your dreams, you, you, you don't need anyone's approval. Even your parents, they don't need to understand or approve. Just do it anyway. It's you. You, you understand? So I've, I've given the guy who introduced me to Forex countless opportunities to join me. Let us build this together. He said no all the time. And then I let him be because he, has, he had his own reasons why, why, why he was saying no and so forth. Right? And I have my own reasons why I'm pushing. The only thing that I did was that when I was pushing and trying to get my friends and my family into trading, I didn't tell them how much I was making. I just told them as an idea just to test waters. And all of them, they were not interested, right? Now, myself and Kuto got our first house in Soshanguve. No car. We had no car at that time. We didn't have any car. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. We've managed to, to get our first house. Now, March, we went home to our parents, right? Remember, myself and Kuto were financially uh, disowned by, by our family. We went home and I sat down with my parents, my mom and, and my dad. And I said, uh, mommy, daddy, uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for how I left home. You know, when I was leaving home in January, um, we didn't live, we didn't, have a, a good communication scenario you know uh, i was angry and you 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 guys were angry as well that i left school and so forth and i understand your frustrations because you want what's best for me but now i came to tell you actually here's the funny thing when when i went home in march when i asked to sit down with my parents they actually so, thought that i was going to say Mom, Dad, uh, I would like to apologize for overruling your decisions, for thinking thinking that I'm a man. I would like to apologize for trading Forex. That thing is a scam. It's not working. Therefore, I would like to go back to school. That's what they thought. And uh, now I was not calling that meeting so that I can tell them that. No. Uh-uh. I told them that, uh, you see... I regret the way I talked to you guys as my parents, but I don't regret the decisions that I've made for myself. We had the argument again. We fought again. But this time it was light, you know. This time was light. Uh, my mother was shouting that you are disrespectful. You think you have life figured out. Uh, you are a small boy. I mean, that's why I got the term small boy. That's why I call other small boys. I've got it from my mom. So you think you've had life covered, this thing of yours. It's March that time. And I told them that, you know what? I can see that even today, you still don't believe in my own dreams. Mom, dad, it's fine. It's fine. I will not stop. I will not give up. I don't need your permission. Then we fought again. Imagine when we were trying to when I was trying to fix things, they were still protective over the decisions that uh, I've made. You know, they've even wanted to call this. You, you know, in the family, there's always that uncle. You see that uncle whom when they say we are going to call Uncle Banbani to talk to you, then you become intimidated. You, you, they are going to call. They did that to me. They said we are going to call Uncle Banbani, and I said call him. Call him as well. I will tell him the same thing. The, the one uncle which they, whom they know that I was scared of and respected a lot. They threatened me to... They th threatened to call him so that he can put me back on track. 
I told them that you see that uncle you're talking about. He's a small boy. But I'm kidding. I didn't say he's a small boy. But yeah, that uncle you're talking about, he, he, he can't change my mind. He can't do anything as well. That's when they see that, hey, this boy is serious with this trading thing, hey? I was very, very protective. Very, very, very protective over, over, over what I do today. That's why even today I'm still very protective because only I understand what I've been through to get to where I am. You can't just come out of nowhere with your, your fake Gucci and tell me that I'm fake. You are coming here with a fake Gucci and you are telling me that I'm fake. Who the fuck are you? Eh? You are wearing things that you can't even afford. I can buy the whole shop. Personally, I can buy the whole shop, give you all the clothes. After giving you, after one week, I come back and I take all my clothes and I donate them to charity. It's, it's very important to study a person's character before you, you, you conclude. Right? Now, uh, the conclusion of the argument with my parents was that, Mom, Dad, um, we have managed to get a small house. Therefore, we will no longer stay in student accommodation. We'll be staying in our own home. Uh, we'll start paying our own water and electricity bills and so forth. They were like, they were just looking at me. You, you, you know, that moment when your parents are disappointed in you. That was me at that time, 2017, March. They just looked at me as if I'm crazy. How can your son... But coming to think of it, I understand their frustrations. How can your son, how can your son leave home for like two months? And your son is saying that he's making money on the phone. All of a sudden, he's telling you that he's getting a house. What the fuck is that? How, how is that possible? You know, so they looked at me as if I was crazy. And I was like, okay, it's fine. Mom, dad, it's fine. You, you don't believe in my dreams. You don't support my dreams. I'm good. It's fine. So I went back to, to, to Gauteng with Kuto when school reopened. And the time I was home, I told Lishonolo. Uh, Nolo, remember, it's Fosh. Uh, it's that guy who, who had one valve. He had one valve which was opened at that time. So he, he said Forex was a scam at that time. I told him when we were home during that time, I'm like, boy, how's it? He's like, I'm good, boy, and you? And then I'm like, what are you pushing in life? He's like, ah, I'm fine now. Eh, I'm pushing entrepreneurship. Eh, I'm pushing my small businesses. I'm trying to make a restaurant and so forth. And I'm like, what if I told you that whatever amount of money you are making in that restaurant, you can make it in one minute? Then he said, ah, boy, it's impossible. He told me that, boy, it's impossible. I'm like, Mfanaka Fosh, how much are you making in that small business of yours? He's like, ah, it depends. For my 5,000 in Kachaleon, I can make like roughly plus or minus 5,000 and so forth. I'm like, 5,000 in a month. And then he's like, yes. I'm like, what is your dream car? He says, my dream car is a Wild Trek Ranger. I'm like, do you think you can buy a, a, a Wild Trek Ranger with 5,000 as your overall gross profit? He's like, no. I'm like, boy, let me show you how to make money. I traded with him once. You know what I did? It was NFP, I remember. We were at my house. He didn't understand anything. I deposited money right in front of his eyes. I'm not sure, but it was, I used lot size 10. That, that means that I, it was a deposit of about $1,000. And I made five thousand dollars from from from. I was using Xness. No, no, no. It was not Xness. Was it still? Oh, it was XM. I was using XM at that time. I deposited uh, one thousand dollars, and I made uh, five thousand dollars in just one minute. One minute, like it's more like fifteen thousand from fifteen thousand thirty uh, forty five sixty. Uh, 75 I made 75,000 in one minute right in front of his eyes and I always tell FBK members, students that 
uh, you must always watch forex trading related movies there's a movie called the the wolf of wall street or something like that ne? in that movie there's a scene whereby a, a guy who's a random employee asked this guy uh, what is it that you do for a living this guy told him that i'm a trader I'm, I'm a, i mean i'm a broker he was a broker in that movie i'm a broker and then the guy asked him how much are you making a month and then he said i make about sixty thousand dollars and then that employee was like if you show if you prove it to me right now that you are making this amount of money i'm calling my boss and i will tell him that i quit immediately it's the same scenario which happened between me and Fosh. after he sees that seventy five thousand, i've processed a withdrawal then uh i got a confirmation in the evening i sent him the confirmation on tuesday the profits was it on tuesday or on thursday the following week the money came in and I showed him and then he's like, you know what, boy, I quit. Whatever that I was doing, I quit. But my ways of quitting is not necessarily giving up on the business because I genuinely love my businesses. But I'm going with you wherever you're going, boy. I was like, really? Are you sure? He's like, yes. So you're no longer saying it's a scam. He's like, I'm no longer saying it's a scam. And I'm like, what do you say about people who are saying this thing is a scam? He's like, it's because they haven't seen what I've seen. So it's a reality. You'll only say it's a scam if you haven't seen what I've seen. You understand? You'll only say it's a, it's a scam if you haven't seen what we traders have seen. That's what happened. Now, I told him that, boy, uh, when we go back to Gauteng, I'm going to be moving in. Myself and Kuzo are going to be moving in, 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 in a new home. We are no longer going to stay with students. We do, they don't qualify to stay with us. He didn't believe. And he's like, boys... I have to see this one. When you go back to Houting, please tell me. Don't leave me. When you go back to Houting, don't leave me. I was like, don't worry, boy. I got you. Uh, we went back to Houting. We moved in. Uh, we moved in the new house. First house. No car. Nothing. Social movie. That is why even today, even today, when I'm bored, there are two places that I go to. Even today when I'm bored. I go to Harangua, I go to Soshanguva. Why? Why do I go to those places? Uh, it's because I'm reminding myself of where I come from. And I've, that's what keeps me going. Me reminding myself where I come from always motivates me that I come from far. I cannot give up. No matter what people say, no matter what haters say, no matter what Twitter witches say, I can't give up. I come from far. I always visit those places randomly just to remind myself that, you know what, I've been through a lot. It takes me almost uh, two hours or so to get to those places, but I can drive randomly so just to, to remind myself. The same street that I was walking on dreaming, I would pass with uh, an m4 convertible today and people when they look at me they say this guy is bragging why is he coming to kasi to show us his car i'm not coming to kasi to show you my car dude who the fuck are you who the fuck are you why must i come to you what i don't prove my point to anyone in this world i can only prove my point to people who have money. If you don't have money, I don't have to prove my, myself to anything. So most people think when I'm at the Kasi, I'm trying to show them that I've made it. This No, when I'm at the Kasi, I'm reminding myself. It's it's about me. I'm reminding myself of where I come from. Never put yourself in, in my business. I don't know you, chief. I don't know you. You don't own this Kasi. I can go to any Kasi. I'm not there for you. I'm there to remind myself because I was once there. It's not about you. I'm not doing this to impress you. I'm not buying cars to impress you. Nigga, you are nothing to me. I don't, I'm not doing this to impress you. How? Why would you say that I'm, I'm bragging or I'm trying to impress you? Who the fuck are you, dude? You don't know half of the things that I've been through. Atom, this guy. Eh, you'll hear them with confidence. Eh, like, I'm fanola FBK. Ah, uh, no, no, he has made it. Uta muka asiga transi yana tsaha gatlor kanset. Chief, I'm not coming to Kasi for you. I'm not doing this for you. 
You are nothing in my life. You might be something in your own life. When it comes to me, nigga, you are nothing. You, 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 you feel me? You are nothing, nigga. It's about me. I'm reminding myself that I was once here. Now, don't conclude that what you see uh, about me on social media is about sh me showing you that I've made it. No. I've been posting when I was poor. I've been posting when I was poor. I will post when I have, I have money. I will still post. It's not about you. I'm not posting to impress you. You are nothing to me. Corey, I just, I just want to put it on clarity. Because there are certain people who think that we or me, I do these things to impress them. Ha! Such nerve. Eh? Ha! Show a rate. But anyways... Uh, we went back to Gauteng. Uh, I went back to Gauteng with a taxi. Right? With a taxi. It was about 200 bucks uh, to, come, to come back to Gauteng. And Fosh was left behind. He had some things to do. So he told us that he would come a, a week later. So we went back to the student accommodation. Now, the landlord at that, at that student accommodation didn't know that we were leaving. Actually, when we were leaving, it's like we ran away. He only found out after we left. Because had we told, keep in mind, we didn't owe him any cent. Had we told him that we are leaving, he would have made our lives a living hell. That guy didn't want us. So we, we pretended as if we are going to stay with him forever. While we already knew that we've all got our, our own place. So we've managed to get a small house in Sosha. Uh, we went back to the accommodation for the last time. We were there for the last time. Then after that, we uh, we moved. Uh, we got in the accommodation. The, the, the new house, I mean, sorry. We got out of the accommodation and we got in the new house, right? When we got in the new house, the house was empty completely. The first time where, when we slept in our new house, myself and Kuto, there was no couch, there was no TV, there was no bed. Literally, we slept on the floor, like um, on the floor. We slept on the floor. And the reason why we slept on the floor was because we didn't have money to buy furniture, right? We couldn't afford to buy furniture at that time. So two days after or so, or was it on the same day we moved in? I'm not sure. Fosh came. Fosh came and then we moved in together. So we slept on the floor together, just the three of us. Sleeping on the floor, talking about our plans. Keep in mind, I was starting to become famous slowly. I was starting to become famous, but it was nothing serious. It was nothing hectic. And at that time, I didn't even have Instagram. I, I, don't, I don't remember, but I, even if I had Instagram, I was not active there. I don't remember, but I doubt I had Instagram at that time. Now, we... we we slept on the floor in our house for about two full weeks, like two full weeks. And I remember day two, day two, no, was it within the first week? I wanted to get laid. You know, I wanted to get laid. Uh, get laid, I simply mean have sex. I wanted to have sex because as I've told you guys before that when you are trading Forex, you must have sex often so that you 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 can release the heavy load you know it's normal forex traders have the right to have sex whenever they feel a need to do so that's why i'm always masturbating by the way you guys won't understand you will judge me you will judge me but it's fine now i know why i'm masturbating every day i understand why i'm doing it every day you will never understand so i wanted to get laid but the problem was that i didn't have a bed so I told the girl that, you know what, baby girl, come, man. We will work something out. So I got laid on the floor, like literally on the floor. You know, it was, it was quite, a, quite a good experience, you know. It was quite a good experience. So we stayed there at an empty house for like two weeks. Now, the third week, um, we were like, boys, now we need to buy furniture. Now, we went to a furniture shop and we did a quotation a quotation of three beds uh, with uh, no there was no headboard at the time 
we did a quotation of three beds we did a quotation of a uh, kitchen stuff pots everything and uh, we did a quotation of television playstation and couches and that table at the middle you know uh that coffee table we did a quotation of everything and then everything costed us about seventy thousand rent we didn't have seventy thousand rent at that time so what we did we said okay boys um what 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 can we do to buy furniture there's only one thing that we can do to buy furniture that is to trade forex right and uh, we deposited five thousand now at that time if you are a fundamental trader there are three events uh, under GBP. There is manufacturing PMI. I'm talking about fundamental events. There is construction PMI. There is services PMI. These three events that I'm talking about, they used to come. They used to come on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then in 2017, those events they were guaranteed, guaranteed that you are going to make money if you know what you're doing. I knew, we we knew what we were doing. Now we 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 said okay the furniture the everything is gonna cost us about seventy thousand to get everything that we want. Uh, what is it that we we need to do? And we deposited five five thousand rents five thousand rents uh, into a XM account and then we trade it. Now when we were trading, here's the thing: when we were trading, we were trading together on one account. Like, it's more like we were analyzing together. Like, this is what we need to do and back and forth, you know. We were doing it together at that time. So, we've managed to make 80,000 in three days from 5,000 rands. After that, we withdrew, we, we, we've withdrew. withdrawn everything. After that, we've withdrawn everything. And then we went straight to the finisher shop when the money got in. The money took about five working days, I think. When the money got in... We went to the furniture shop. We bought full furniture for our home. We bought full furniture for our home. Everything was proper. Now we are having furniture. Now when I want to get laid, at least I will get laid on a bed. You know, that is why today when people are talking nonsense about me, I, I'm, I always get angry. It's because they have no idea of the details, the detailing, what I've been through, you know. So... Oh, no.